Hey guys, I'm LB. I paused the game as the doors were opening, and, uh, it's- it's making quite a noise. Well, let us continue with Rexor, our last episode. We got the dual portal device. Did you know, when energy pellet passes through a portal, its lifespan is increased to a minimum of six seconds. It's true. Yes, I did know that. Yeah, yeah, it didn't know you that. Long enough to get here. And don't use the I'm more familiar with two portals excuse. But nonsense. <laughs> well, yes, I did know that when it goes through a portal it gets refreshed, but I didn't know it was exactly six seconds. Let's see, where is Oh okay, I think this is our end goal. What unlocks this then? Something all the way over there, huh? Ah, field unlocks it. Well then. And we just have to make sure it doesn't bounce back through the field again. Actually, let me do this. Wait, the door's only open for a short amount of time? This is cool music, though. Oh, so if we just leave it like this, it'll be... ...constantly refreshing the door, right? place the blue portal, right? No, apparently not. But we have maintained stasis here. So I can go through. Will this door crush me? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes, it will! Holy crap! <laughs> okay, well, I know what I'm doing. Your rudimentary brute force tactics and barbaric <laughs> approach to problem solving <laughs> seem to be doing the job just fine. Yep, that worked. <laughs> brute force, huh? I wouldn't call that brute force. That was an exercise in refreshing the pellet. Let's see, what's next? Chamber 11. Fun fact, you will not be able to complete this test chamber without the use of your parietal lobe. Luckily, we have left it intact for just such an occasion. Well, okay then. What exactly is so difficult about this? Ah, so we do need something else to press the button for us. It's on a timer, huh? That door is gonna open at some point. Do we know what the connection is for that door? Nope. But we can shoot portals through it, so there's that. When it opens, that is. Oh, interesting. That makes the time... shorter... Why? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, we want them to be in sync. I see. Aw, 
Alright then, that's not too bad. Alright then. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Was that my body disintegrating? <laughs> okay then. I've actually never seen that. I did not know that the doors were like the ones in Portal Stories Mel. Well then, I'm going to set this up beforehand. Yeah, there we go. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing Aperture Science. We know you have a choice of automated testing administrators, and we are glad you chose us. You have helped make Aperture Science the only private company in the world with a 100% employee retention rate. Thank you. <laughs> because the employees die before they can leave. Oh. Alright, what are we doing here? Why are there two different colors? Alright. Interesting. Ah, yes, I see. I see. Uh, let me get that to a better spot. More better. And eh, whatever. That's going to take some practice. Okay. We've got it like this, right? Oh, that was too quick. Too quick. Oh no! <laughs> that was still too quick. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Congratulatory speech file number 037 does not exist. Please instruct the test subject to congratulate itself, and then proceed to the chamber exit. Well, okay then. You've got to be kidding me. During the previous test, our remote brain scanners detected thought patterns consistent with indecent animalistic desires. Please refrain from attempting intercourse with any of the testing elements, no matter how appealing they may be, as it will distract from the testing procedure. Uh, okay then. Right, right, this will let me get back up.
But not in any timely fashion. I might add. Ooh boy! Let's start with that, shall we? Oh, come on. That'll work. Where... do we... Through the door, huh? That'll activate this, which will get us to the exit. Alright then. This activates the door. Is it on a timer, perhaps? Let's find out. a short timer. Pass through it on the floor? The answer appears to be no. some way to make that come out further, or...? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so I do have to respawn it. We appreciate the amount of restraint and self-control you have shown in this test chamber. While many of the testing elements have the ability to copulate with humans, only a select few will actually produce soft spray. Um, interesting. Fact activities reserved for a different set of test chambers. We won't get to those today. Alright, let's go on to the next chamber and hopefully they won't talk about sex anymore. Science, we care about the opinions of our employees. That's why we require every employee to donate part or all of their brain to the Aperture Science Opinion Extraction Center. Opinion Extraction Center. Uh. <laughs> 
Mm, yes, I do believe we do not need to be here yet. Oh, that's back. That's good to know. Ah, yes, auto drops. Oops, come on. Thank you. Hmm, interesting. What kind is this? The green kind. Yes, my favorite kind. Awesome. So... How would we get... the cube where we want it to be? Actually, I don't think we even need the cube on the button. go through here and step on the button at the right time. If I understand this correctly. No, wait, that's not going to work. There we go, now we can actually put the cube back. Come on, let me put the cube back, please. Right, right. Actually, I want to have it bouncing back and forth here. That'll make it easier for me. Okay, now I just gotta clear my portals. One there... And we are good to go! That'll give us plenty of time to do what we wanna do. Voluntarily Well guys, that's gonna be it for this episode, and I will see you in the next one, where we will continue with Rexora. As always, don't forget to leave a like, it's up to you, and I will see you then. Goodbye!